Ozark Geek here. All right, I am pretty much done with my tarp project for the winter, so I thought I'd do a quick walk around. Um, I haven't got the uh, pipes yet filled with sand that's going to go on the bottom. These edges here that you see here will get tucked back underneath and a, uh, I'm going to fill on some like two inch PVC pipes to keep them from coming down and coming out like they have right here. But since we've got it put on, notice that um, we are staying warmer and uh, when we've had to use propane, we're using less propane for heating the trailer. The uh, thermal heater stays on less and goes on from there. So, but uh, I managed to get it all the way around. It's a 11 mil uh, vinyl. Is a repurposed billboard sign that we bought a, uh, a 14 by 48 foot length, cut it in half lengthwise, and then we got um, put it up with what you would call turn buttons. That's these little deals here. Take and turn at 90 degrees, and that will pop off of there. As you can see that, and then put it back on slip it through the hole and uh, put it back on. So that's what we decided to put it up with in the areas where I've got metal to screw in. The problem I had is in figuring how to get around the front with uh, fiberglass here. I, as you can see, I put turn, buck turn buttons on here. I'd gotten some of that, uh, I don't know what they call it, uh, HDVP something vinyl or uh, tape, double sided tape, and taped onto here and put them on the fiberglass that you can see here. The tape stuck fine for the most part, but there was not enough surface area on the back side of the turn button to stay locked in and adhere to the, uh, the double-sided tape. So I'm like, okay, what can I do? I need to get this up, but I couldn't figure a way that I wanted to do it permanently. And I think what I'm gonna do permanently is try that double-sided tape with a uh, quarter inch by one inch strip of metal going across the whole piece the whole front of the trailer and then I'll screw the turn button into that piece of metal and then double side the back of that metal to the fiberglass itself that should work and in the uh, springtime summertime or if I have to travel that won't look too odd with that uh, piece of metal across there but for the winter I uh, Put up a uh, America's Favorite Tape, duct tape, and uh, actually I believe it was Gorilla Brand tape. Put that on there, and then tape the uh, vinyl in several places to that. And that has made through several 50 plus mile an hour storms so far. So I think we're gonna be good for the winter uh, going forward. So. I'm going to call this pretty much the end of the uh, skirting project. Got any questions or comments, leave them below. And if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe, and uh, we'll go from there. Shalom, Ozark Geek out.